Okay, okay great. Right, so, what are the four forces of nature? Gravity, electromagnetism, strong force, and weak Okay. Um, who first proposed the, the theory of gravity and when? Seven. That's correct. And um, the electromagnetic force, which was first found to be the same, and who found that and which year? Um, Michael Faraday in 1831. Correct. Now, the strong nuclear force, who first proposed that and which year? Um, yeah, and which year? In 1934. That's correct. And the weak nuclear force, who first proposed that? Correct. Right. So now we're gonna we're gonna go with the first force, which is the weakest force, which is gravity. But it's also pulls all around here. So the 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 formula that um, Sir Isaac Newton created, which means gravity. Can you tell me what that is first, please? What's okay? What, what's what's the equation for gravity? Oh, F equals G times M one M two. R squared. Correct. So, so and what does G mean? Gravity, gravitational constant. And what is the gravitational constant? It's a number. 6.6.74 times 10. To the? To the power of minus 11. That's correct. That's correct. Now, with like M1, M2, what does M mean? M Okay, so it's a mass of one object and two objects over R squared. What's R? Right. What's that called? It's radius. Don't silly people. I've got a little one wrong there, right? So, listen, now look. So, we're now going to look at... Um, in, in, in the universe, and after the Big Bang, about 385,000 years after it first started, the most abundant gas in the universe is what? Gas in the universe, even now? No. It begins with a H. So, gravity, under Newton's laws, everything comes together, squashes so tight it's under, that it turns into nuclear fusion, and then one hydrogen atom then turns into which other uh, element? It turns into iron. No, 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 no. What's, what's the first afterwards? After it turns from, from hydrogen into the next abundant element, which is? Um, heat. Helium. Right, correct. And then it turns into what? what? On, and then, Carbon, yeah, and there's the other one. Uh, what's the very last element before a star dies? Iron. That's correct. And that is because um, energy cannot be put, um, taken out of iron, it only absorbs it. So then, when a star starts creating iron and it then loses the battle of gravity and it comes in, comes in, comes in, and then what happens? And then it goes up. What's that called when it goes? Supernovae, that's correct. It's so, another way to say supernovae. Right, so, but when, when you've got this this huge amount of dense, denses of iron and other, other hot gases and other heavy elements, what can that create? What, 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 what object in space is so strong, so big, that even light can't escape it? Okay, now let's say for example, we were on a spaceship and we're heading to walls of black hole. What's the first thing that we'll see? The, the, the that's right, and that's all the hot gases swirling around it near to the speed of light, getting heavier and heavier and heavier, until eventually you come to the black hole where you drop over. What's the first part of the black hole called? 
The Event Horizon. The Event Horizon. And then what is it right at the very middle of the black hole? What's that called? Space-time singularity. And that's it. And that's as far as we know in mathematics. After that, we've got no idea, have we? Oh, yeah, that's